Hello everyone, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. This is Pinar Elbasan. Today we are with Edward Peters from GE Coaching and I look forward to talking with, with Ed about the value of coaching to student success. As Intexco, uh, we run very close collaboration with uh, NGOs, with uh, universities, high schools and organizations from all around the world. And we will start um, sharing our experiences, best practice uh, also from our YouTube channel. So today we prepared some questions for, uh, for Edward, but uh, let me turn to uh, him first. And uh, Edward, could you please, uh, you know, share, uh, you, you know, your introduction about this topic, uh, today's topic, and then, then I will start my questions. Thank you. Sure. And it's great to be working with you again. And uh, coaches, we've got a very special role. Um, think, for example, about all the songs that you like best, some of the films that you like best, the stories you've read, where so often people are confused. They don't know what to think. I don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you love me anymore. I don't know why you behave like this. We're full of situations where we just don't know what to do and don't know which way to move forward. And in pandemic times, that's particularly prevalent for young people. So a coach is there to provide that mechanism to help you move forward and make the decisions you really want to make. So thank you so much, Edward. Uh, so let me start with, with the coaching firstly. I mean, is coaching the same as guidance or, or counseling? What is the difference? It's really quite different. The only similarity we have is the way that we use questions. The basic currency of coaching is questions. And other than that, we're very different because a guidance specialist, uh, a mentor perhaps, or a careers counselor is looking to provide you with information that then helps you decide the subject you're going to study, the place you're going to study, where you're going to do your postgrad, what careers you could move on to, all those things. That's part of a guidance package. A counsellor, particularly if you are a psychotherapeutic counsellor, those people are there for when things do go wrong and you find yourself in quite a, a critical situation and really, really can't see your way out and it continues over time. At that point, a psychotherapist may well be the person to, to help you out. A coach needn't help you when you're in a difficult situation, though often people work with coaches when they feel anxious or stressed or have too much work or too many deadlines and so on. But we're there to create this space to help you think. So it's a very different type of discipline from other types of, of guidance and support. And how can uh, coaching help young people? And how how does a, for example, coaching session work? How, how yeah. you know how families or you know students can uh, get in touch with coach, for example? Sure. Um, well, you can talk to us easily through through yourselves, Pinar, or to us at GE Coaching Ed at gecoaching.net, and we'd be more than happy to to supply you with a, a short, free, twenty-minute coaching session. So you feel what coaching actually is like. It's a different sort of experience, partly because it's pretty unusual to have somebody listen to you. Most of the time when somebody is talking, the other guy is not listening. He's preparing what he's going to say next. So we live in a world where listening is not valued as much as it should be. And we question people as well. We ask you what's important to you. We don't tell you. We don't advise you. We don't have any opinions. Uh, if you ask us our opinion, we won't tell you because it's all about you thinking for yourself. So we constantly kind of toss the ball back to you and ask you what's important about things. What could you do? And sometimes people start by thinking, I can't see a way forward. But after working with a coach for a while, suddenly they start to see options that they can follow and things become much clearer for them. And, you know, and if we, you know, talk about the Turkish, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, Eurasian, let's say, region, the, you know, coaching is familiar with, you know, in some disciplines like sports, 
Uh, but yeah. for education, for higher education, also for, uh, you know, K-12 education, coaching term is not that familiar. Uh, so yeah. how can uh, high school administrators, teachers, or even university uh, managements can, you know, can work with coach, how they, uh, you know, use this power? Sure. Part of it is coaching skills. Everybody needs coaching skills, whether you're a professional coach or not. Everyone needs to learn how to use questions in more powerful ways, how to listen at a much deeper level, how to sense when a student is, is feeling anxious or worried or simply when things that they say don't match up. And to, uh, to answer your question, the first thing we can do is actually work with people to train those skills and build them in everybody. Everybody needs to be a coach uh, to some level. And then to have coaches available to work with, with young people when they're feeling as if they're not quite managing is something that can be done on quite a short term. Coaching is a short term intervention, sometimes only a few sessions. It doesn't go on for years unless you wish to keep coming back to your coach. And sometimes it responds. If you've got somebody approaching a big exam and they're really, really worried, sometimes working with a coach who's not part of the school, not part of the institution, not representing your parents or anybody else, just to have that neutral person. So I suppose one thing you could always say, the coach is the guy on your side. Thank you so much. Uh, before wrapping up, could you please share your, you know, quick tips with the students? Yeah. In, Let's think of something very quickly. Times. Okay. Firstly, be really aware of yourself. Notice if you're feeling tired or sluggish or you're slowing down, recognize that. Step back from it. Take a break. Learn to know how you're responding. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just how your, your body is working, your mind is working. Secondly, think about your goal. What do you actually want? If you could achieve whatever you wanted, what would that be? What does it look like? What does it feel like? Give me some detail. And once you know that, what are the steps you could take to achieve it? What could you do now? Not at some funny point in the future that we can't name now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do tomorrow morning that's going to get you slightly forward? Apply that to everything you do. Is it leading me towards where I want to get to or is it getting in my way? If it's in my way, you need to get rid of it and replace it with something else. Thank you so much, Edward. Uh, I'm sure our followers uh, will enjoy, will be enjoying uh, today's talk with Ed Peters. Uh, you can reach us on social media from uh, G Coaching uh, accounts or Intexco account. Intexco uh, is is on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and under Intexco TR. As well as you can follow G Coaching accounts on social media. We will be co continuing with new talks, new teams. Edward will be also uh, joining us maybe in the in the next talks. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this video with your friends, colleagues, uh, and your uh, you know, students from all around the world and uh, keep in touch with us uh, from our uh, social media accounts. Bye-bye, take care, stay healthy. Bye-bye.